Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today we're with Danny Timmons of Nitro Manufacturing in Mooresville, North Carolina. Danny, tell us a little bit about Nitro Manufacturing. We're a full service prototype fabrication shop. We cater a lot to the racing industry. Uh, a lot of NASCAR teams and support equipment for the pit area, fixtures, uh, test equipment, um, a, a lot of pit equipment. Uh, this is one of our ladders for uh, access to one of our larger pit road boxes that's, that's used um, mainly on the NASCAR series. So today, Danny's son Dick is going to show us how they weld up their aluminum ladders using the new Dynasty 210 TIG welder. So now we've brought Dick over to weld this ladder up. Dick, tell us a little bit about the materials that we'll be working with here. Uh, the sides are 3003 sheet and the treads are 8 inch aluminum tread plate. The sides are water jet and the steps are sheared and broke in the press brake. And the filler metal that Dick will be using for this project is the Hobart Maxil TIG 4943. It's perfect for these two different types of alloys. For this project, we'll be using the new Dynasty 210 TIG welder. Our package also includes the new W250 TIG torch. We've also put on a gas lens and a number eight cup. We'll be using a 332 seriated tungsten sharpened to a point and slightly blunted on the end. The Dynasty 210 comes in two different models. The DX model, which is a full featured model, and a standard model. The standard model has a much easier to use operator interface, but it also has some limitations on its feature sets. For today, Dick likes a little wider bead profile when he's welding these aluminum ladders. We will be adjusting our output frequency down from 400 on the maximum, we'll be adjusting that down to about 110. Our main amperage control will be set at 210 amps. Dick prefers to use the foot pedal to adjust the output of the machine. So this is a great example of a completed aluminum ladder. Danny, what's the next step for this ladder? This ladder will head to our paint shop and be painted whatever uh, color the team specified. Uh, it possibly could even get some other aluminum railings added to it for safety. Uh, then it'll be fitted to whatever pit box it's designed for. We make sure everything fits before it goes out the door. And you can see a lot of good uh, pictures and different designs on our website at nitromfg.com. And for more information on the new Dynasty 210 TIG welders, check out MillerWelds.com.